I'm Lauren Froman, and welcome to the Boomer File. Boomers, you got a minute? I love television news. I actually can't get enough of it. And I watch all the shows. The Situation Room, Hardball, Countdown, Meet the Press. The dreaded Mrs. Froman calls them the screamers, because all they do is scream at each other. Remember the 60s boomers watching Walter Cronkite every night on CBS? He didn't scream. I loved Walter Cronkite. We all loved getting bad news from Walter. If anything horrible happened, I wanted to hear it from Walter Cronkite. When I failed grade 11, I wanted to hear it from Walter. When Michelle Goldstein broke up with me three times, I wanted Walter to tell me. It's interesting about TV anchors, isn't it? All they do is tell you bad news. They must have been that way when they were kids. They must have been depressed. They love to tell their friends all the bad, horrible things that were happening. And as good as Cronkite was, I could never understand his sign-off line. Remember? And that's the way it is. The Vietnam War, murders, floods, riots, killings, and he'd just say, and that's the way it is, so fuck off and die. That's just the way it is. It's the way it is. What do you want from me? That's the way I call it. the way I see it. That's just the way it was. What a horrible thing to say. I mean, come on, like there's nothing anybody can do about it. And that's the way they used to talk to you when you were a kid back then. My parents would always say to me, why the long face? And then there was Edward R. Murrell. Remember him, boomers? The best, even better than Cronkite. There was nobody better to this day than Edward R. Murrell. And what was his sign off? Good night and good luck. Right. Thanks, Ed. Not what you want to hear after getting an update on wars, pestilence, shitty economy, and a runaway serial killer who's on the loose in your neighborhood. Well, good night. Good luck. Fuck off. See ya. Today, my favorite is Tim Russer, who hosts a legendary daddy of them all political shows. Meet the press. Watch it every Sunday. Russer is great. Hands down. As good as Cronkite ever was. He's intelligent, insightful, astute, a down-to-earth reporter who reports the news with integrity, truth, and veracity. And all he can think of as a sign-off is, if it's Sunday, it is Meet the Press. If it's Monday, it's liver and potatoes. Jack Armstrong, a DJ who worked on radio in LA and Toronto, used to sign off by saying, don't get none on you, do it twice and be gone. I mean, what are these people, crazy? So I need a good sign off. Something catchy, something to say goodbye, but be good enough so you'll remember to come back. And I don't know what that is. So let me think about it. I'll call you later.